Okay, so let's get started. As I mentioned, uh, this session is kind of a means the test is kind of a little tricky. Uh, when I say little tricky, so it's all around the basic operators what we have covered so far. Uh, as I mentioned, like operators like and or not, then brackets, double quotes, colons, <clears throat> and then various thumb rules, and then um, operators like related, around, in URL, site, in title, in text. So the whole, the test around is all the basic operators. So what happens while creating these X-ray searches, there might be a lot of misses. Sometimes a misses with the particular space, sometimes misses with the particular typo. So the test is all around that. So that's reason I say it's a little tricky, but that's kind of an importance for us uh, because unless we don't really fail it, we might not be able to learn it. So that's reason I just thought of having this basic level one test uh, and go through the understanding of our understanding. So now let's come back and solve the test one by one. So let me just enter my email ID. Okay, that's this. Okay, please select the correct option. So which one is correct? Please unmute yourself and feel free to discuss. None of them. Why none of them? Everyone, please unmute yourself and let's come to a discussion. Why none of them is correct? Because Shiv, uh, first in, in title, in site, and in URL. In title, mm. in URL are from uh, the first le letter is capital. And right. there is no nothing like in site right. as an operator. Right. Awesome. So in, in title as well in, in URL, the I is capital and inside, there is nothing called inside, it's site, right. colon. So that's reason none of them. And all of them, one of them is correct. So definitely all of them is also wrong. Please select the wrong operators. <clears throat> so yeah, please tell. Inside is wrong. In in Insight is wrong. In URL is wrong. Okay. In title? That is also wrong. Why? Because I is capital. capital here. Exactly. Wrong operators. Okay. Please select the okay. Related. Is it right or wrong? It's it correct. Is right. right operator or wrong operator? This is right. We have covered in past also related operator. Basically, what does it do? It basically, uh, if you want to pick up a list of competitor companies, what we do, we just give related colon and the website of that particular company, like www.infosys.com. So it started reading a content from the infosys.com and trying to match those particular content in other website and trying to see which are the relevant website to the infosys.com. So that's how it is. Let's say here we give. <clears throat> Not Samsung. Intel. Okay, then whatever the content on the Intel's website, it's reading a content, similar content on the other website and trying to see which are the most possible, means which are the website which has a maximum content matching on the other website. And that's how we are able to come up with a list of relevant companies to the Intel, all competitors to the Intel. So uh, related is basically a right operator. So that's Susan. I just have a question here. Mm -hmm. I matched up uh, related with a FinTech company known as Lending Cart, but there, there were like no options. Exactly. So uh, these websites, um, so related operator works on a website which has got a certain number of visits so far and which has got a huge lot of content. So there are some of the startups or there are some of the product companies where mm -hmm. on their website there is no content. So for that kind of a stuff or not much content, content is there but not much content, one. Okay. And those companies' website has not been 
uh, uh, visited number of times. So that's reason we, we would not get those particular results. But otherwise, if you see this kind of a websites which has been visited number of times, then definitely we would get that results. Okay, so this is one of the reasons not able to get the related thing for that. Uh, exactly. Thing, right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So like if Got I type it. related LinkedIn.com, we are getting Facebook, Twitter, Monster, mm -hmm. Pinterest, mm -hmm. Crunchbase, something which are uh, either a job sites or a social media or a information site, all those ones. All right, so that's reason we are not selecting related here. Please select the right option. So in URL, is it correct or wrong? Wrong. We need to select the right option. None of them is right. Why? Here we have in URL, right? Yeah, but this is semicolon. And here we have in URL. This is all uh, caps on. Great. So none of them. Please select a wrong option. So this is very confusing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now select the wrong option. Third number and sixth number. Third number. Sixth six number. These two are wrong. Uh, no, no, no. First is also wrong. Mm. Second is here also you're wrong. saying none of them. Then why are you leaving here? <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah. This is the very uh, tricky thing. Every question is linked to other question. Yeah. <laughs> Every next question is linked to the previous question. <laughs> in URL, I is capital. In URL, it's in capital. In URL, I is also capital. There is a space. Yeah. Okay. So in URL, this is correct. In your in title, this is correct. This so is correct. We are selecting the wrong options. Please select the right options. Site. We need to select the right option. Site. No. It's not right. So we are not selecting site. No. Site. No. Site. No. Site. No. Why this is wrong? Because there's a space. After site, these colons are given a space. Exactly. And why this is wrong? This is semicolon. Right. So none of them is right. None of them. Yeah. Okay. Please select the wrong option. <laughs> <laughs> site uh, yes we need to select a wrong option wrong option yes this is wrong why because site all in caps all on caps yeah third I... is wrong no no second one is correct third is wrong hmm. this one? fourth is wrong fifth is wrong why because s is capital here Okay. And what about the concept of this web? We, we never you use this as an operatorship. <clears throat> That's what there is no time bound. You use it and see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just what confusing. So site yeah. will use it something like SIT site uh, LinkedIn.com forward slash N. <clears throat> we use it like this, right? Correct. So, can we use web like this? Oh, this is a new thing, huh? No, it's not a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> but we never discussed during our discussion, Chip. We never discussed, but just see now, now we go to fourth page. Yeah. So, what so, result is giving? Basically, it intend to give a result only from this link. LinkedIn.com mm, yeah. forward slash in. But is it giving? Right. Mm, no. That means web doesn't exist. Yes. So that's where it is. Okay. So web is also wrong. Wrong. So just to confuse, if it is site which exists, there might be a question, can web be existing or can website be existing? <laughs> right, right. Got it. Something Got like it. website. 
though in the first page it will try to give us a result because it's trying to match up with the keywords mm. which has a majority of a keywords that's the reason we are getting these results but when you go to some of the later pages then we would realize no it's not doing that job what it's supposed to basically right. website linkedin.com it's trying to take it as a keyword and not as an operator all right so please select the wrong option site it's all in caps that's result site again in caps site but again there's a space between colon and site site again s is cap sometimes typo can happen web that doesn't exist so none of them one of them is correct so none of them is also wrong so one of them is correct right yes that's reason none of them can be, uh, is also wrong so that's where i said it's slightly tricky in selecting none of them or all of them right okay now please select the right operators accepted by linkedin we pretty much covered in our previous session and or not right operators accepted by linkedin and or not colon and this is it correct wrong so please select the right operator so we are not selecting yes. and or second not. one is right yes okay and or minus wrong this is and a google or. thing yeah no hmm. not acceptable site uh shiv yeah here, here is a confusion like we go with the linkedin for the close end search site colon linkedin.com slash in so this can be acceptable by linkedin then but your option is showing only this one and or not and this second okay. option correct now here is a confusion okay yeah why some people mess it up mess in this uh please select the right operator accepted by linkedin so this right. site is an operator accepted by google while doing an x-ray right. search correct but it's not accepted by linkedin we can't go in linkedin mm. here and type site we are already in linkedin we are already in a direct search right right correct mm. okay so site is an operator though operator is correct in your yeah. operator is correct in title operator is correct but mm. these are the google operators not linkedin got operators it. got it got it <laughs> yeah got it so yeah right or not only this is correct operator okay so one of them is correct so all of them is again a wrong so none of them so one of them is correct so none of them is also correct right. or right right operator one of them one of them is also wrong sorry none of them is also wrong because one of them is a correct please select a right operator accepted by linkedin this is okay any confusion in this so site in url in title though those operators are correct but those operators are accepted by google what we are doing we are using a site linkedin.com forward slash in site github.com forward slash whatever site crunchbase.com forward slash whatever site abc.com forward slash whatever in url okay. abc.com forward slash whatever in url cv resume whatever in url whatever in title whatever so these are all the operators which are accepted by google but not by linkedin linkedin accepts only and or not because it's a direct search we are doing a search in a linkedin i can't go here and say site and give github.com got it yeah correct got it yes yeah. okay <clears throat> so yeah this one please select the operator not accepted by linkedin a and d and accepted by linkedin a and d and no o or or yes o or or no n o t not yes n o t not no bracket yes this one semi bracket no no asterisk yes asterisk also no linkedin doesn't say oh okay mm. though we might get it 
but that is pretty much open ended till date mm. there is no full proof that asterisk is getting read by linkedin got it got it perfect the double quotes yes yes <clears throat> single quotes no site no in url no please select the operator not accepted by linkedin so linkedin accepts and or not not brackets double quotes that's it yes yes please select the correct operator now this is the next level of trickiness hmm. please select a correct operator in url software engineer or software developer some rule of in url anyone here there should not be brackets some rule no, of there URL. should not be or there will be uh, this uh, standing by thing in place instead of or some rule of in url there should not be any space absolutely there should not be any space any space because yeah. every url hmm has a link every url there is no url on a whole world wide web which has a space every url right, right, is constructed right. in a such a way that there hmm. is a main folder after that there is a sub folder again there is a sub folder hmm. again there is a sub folder in this session we have covered it Direct right. form command operator in URL and how URL is defined or formatted or constructed. Right. So LinkedIn dot com when we have checked it, then the URL format of it could be like this: LinkedIn dot com forward slash network. So what are the space is there? Network profile is a folder name, but that space mm -hmm. is getting replaced by hyphen. Right. And wherever this forward arrow is there, which is a path to the next folder, is basically a forward slash. and that's how not just the linkedin but the whole world wide web uh, is a <clears throat> falling it means a formula for the whole world wide web there is no uh, url in the whole world wide web which has a space so that's why and though we give in url software engineer or software developer it would give us a list of result but it's not necessary doing this software engineer and software developer is coming only in the url though in the first or second page we get the list of result but when we go to the later pages we'll realize that software engineer or software developer is basically somewhere else so here yes, software hyper engineer but let's see software engineer versus of the right for each and so we have few results means number of result but it's basically working as a uh, what we say um, as a keyword search but not as a url because software engineer and software developer related there's a hell lot of content on the world wide web that's reason we are getting it but otherwise we had some interesting examples covered in past let me see in case we didn't get that let's say Okay. Now, if you see here, there is no Shukmar Guram or Biryani Guram or Biryani Shiva in URL. We get the result, but how we are getting those particular result is basically it taking as a keyword, but not as a mm. 
in url uh, biryani gurram or shivmar gurram or biryani shiva is coming in correct got it yeah for software engineer or software developer we have a lot of stuff on google so that's reason we are getting it but not technically when we tried this having in url shivmar space gurram or biryani gurram or biryani shiva we do not really see any results where in url those keywords are existing yeah got it got it yeah so thumb rule of <coughs> in url there should not be any space so here we have a space wrong here also we have a space wrong though there is a pipe but it's wrong though here is a space so site again the same concept goes for site also unless there is a site existing with that we do not see but again there is a space site also is basically indirectly targeting or directly or indirectly targeting urls only and no url has a space so site this is also wrong we might get the result but if you take these examples you will not get the results i'll just share it with you you can use this with site or you can use this with in url something which is very last so in url wrong in url site 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 in title so if this is correct or wrong this is correct this is wrong i is wrong wrong i is capital yes this is, I is capital wrong yeah so this is correct or wrong this is correct so in title there can be a space Now, yeah. in text yes there can be a space hmm. software engineer or software developer okay. yes no hmm? no no is it wrong yes. yeah <laughs> why <laughs> Uh, because there is no this this thing uh, directions are not there, but whether in title or in in text or in site, like see, it's asking only to select the correct options. Yeah, so then it's right. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's asking the correct <laughs> right option. It's not giving you any. Now uh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So then it's yeah. correct, correct, correct. It's then, not giving yeah. you any conditions. <laughs> Got it, it just says that whether it is correct or wrong. Mm. Okay, it's not saying a condition. Tell which is which keyword is correct, which is added to this particular operator. It just asking mm. which is correct or wrong. Okay, now the next level of trickiness. Please select the correct option in URL resume space. No. Why? There is a space. Resume space, then pipe, and then space, and then CV. Okay. So in URL resume without space. No, wrong. Why? I S capital. In URL is I. Hmm. In URL resume or CV. Wrong. Okay. Let's say you are saying this one wrong, but why we get result? Structured, it is structured, it is structures. Well, put it as BS as well. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now here we have a resume. <coughs> so in URL, we do not have a resume or CV. Basically that resume or CV is taken at as a additional keyword, but not as a operator where only in URL resume or CV are appearing. Though we have all the resumes and CV, mm. but to have that resume, somewhere we have a resume, but do we have that CV? No, we do not have that CV. Like in this example, there is no resume also in the URL. So here we have a resume in the URL. Here we have resume. No, we do not, neither we have a resume nor URL. So as I mentioned, uh, though we are getting a result, but what it's trying to do is basically, is trying to give us a list of result which has most of the keywords matching to the searches, search results. We can take this search also. I'll also mention here in the notes. One of a good search, I would say, uh, which has given a direct series and series I believe should be good. So, Shiv, I have a question here. Hmm. If we avoid the space after resume space and this uh, pipe and then space and the, the, the CV, so results will be much better than this one. Because that's a correct option. Yeah. In URL resume or CV without any space is basically the correct operator because there is no URL exist which has a space. Right. So in URL resume or CV. Now you have much better result and you have yes. all the results which has at least a word resume or CV in the URL. Correct. Though you go to the last pages, you will still have resume or the CV in the URL because it is taking it as a proper operator. Correct. You got it. So here we have a resume. Mm. All right. So that's the reason this is wrong. In URL, I is capital. In URL, again, that is wrong. In URL, why this is wrong? Because there is no semicolon here. Sorry, I, I answered. Okay. Let's say, okay. Site? No. Hmm? No, no, wrong. Okay, let's say instead of using in URL, mm -hmm. if I use site without any space, and site is in a proper small case and there is no space between the colons and resume or CV. Is it correct or wrong? I think Shiv, this is wrong because uh, this happens to be a close ended search with a resume part, which is not justifiable in terms of Google. I'm not able, able, able to write. In URL, yeah, it's basically yes. open-ended search, which is yes. searching for a keyword in the URL. Correct. Wherein site is basically closed-ended. Closed-ended, correct. For a site, we need some website link. Correct. So here, resume or CV is a keyword. Resume.com, CV.com. Yes. <laughs> is this correct? This might fetch you some results, Shiv. I think so. No, but this uh, brackets, we need to remove it. Exactly, you're spot on. So again, when you're targeting the websites, mm. it shouldn't be like this, okay? Let's yes. say if it is Correct. like this. Now, siteresume.com or sitecv.com. No, we have a space now. No, no, this will not work. Shit. Why? Because close ended search with these two sites, we need okay. to check basically. Forget yeah. about CV or resume. Mm -hmm. Let's say site github.com site.
slide stackoverflow.com. Two close ended search will not fly here, Shiv. This is what I feel. Results may be vary from Stack Overflow and Git, GitHub. Google might get confused or something like that may happen. See, basic is basic. Yeah, yeah. Achha, okay. Basic is basic. Okay. Bracket is Let's... bracket, which is giving an R. Hmm. So we have a results from GitHub. Okay. And then what about Stack Overflow? We'll go. <laughs> there are limited results. There are limited because yeah. the search itself is like that. Let's yes. remove few stuff. Yeah. No need of that Gmail jobs and all. Just give this. Now it will be here. Yes. So we still have a few results from Stack Overflow. Right. So Majority of the results are from GitHub. Right. Yeah, yeah. So so that's what my next question is. Given the preference, we have given this GitHub and Stack Overflow the equal this thing, but the results are not equal. Huh? No, what is no, the reason behind Stack this? Stack Overflow results. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Let's see what So maybe it's trying to prioritize the side mm -hmm. the results which has majority of the results right right got it so maybe first it's trying to prioritize github because it has majority right. of results then it is trying to prioritize stack overflow let's say we just go with site stack overflow okay wait unless we don't go to the last page we would not know how many overall result to come to the conclusion mm -hmm. So overall 282 results. Okay. Let me just repeat. it. Though it is showing 2000 and all, but Google will not allow us to view more than uh, three to 400 results. Sometimes 300, sometimes 400, sometimes 350. So up to 29 pages, 284 results. So let's say site. Though it is giving a less number of results, but if you see, uh, mm -hmm. going with two sites in our combination, it's not directly rejecting it. 284 only on stack, and maybe additionally for GitHub itself, we might have another 284. So if we need to um, mark it up, Shiv, what will be the results for Stack Overflow and GitHub? Is there any methodology where we can see the numbers or something? One by one, this? Do, you'll get it. Okay. Okay. So now for Stack Overflow, we got around 285. Now let's say similarly, we'll do it for GitHub. And all our resumes, amazing resumes, in fact. Hmm. So two eighty from five from here, two eighty five from there. All right. Anything uh, visible in terms of resume from the GitHub account itself? No. Wait a second. So site github.com site stack overflow software engineer Java Bangor in title. Mm -hmm. uh, I 
is also fine. Or maybe one by one also. We will still get the result though. When we search for one site at a time, we'll get more number of results from that one particular site. As you mentioned, it's not ideal to club <clears throat> two different sites uh, with our combination. You're correct. However, given that use case, we can say it's mm. partially correct and partially wrong. Partially correct because we get results. Partially wrong because we might not get desired result when we give as compared to the searching with the individual sites. Right. Okay. So yeah. So coming back. Uh, so site resume, basically thumb rule. Site is basically to search for a link of a website. And in URL is basically open ended. We can search for that particular keyword. So that's reason. Your correct option in URL is correct. Sorry, in URL is wrong no, because here wrong. we have a space as a thumb rule. Here in URL, it is wrong. We thought it could be correct, but I is capital. In URL, we thought it's correct, but there's again a space. In URL, we thought it's correct, but uh, no what we say, there is no colon. In URL, there is colon. Resume this is true. TV. Now right. this is correct or wrong? Correct, correct. Why? Because it is almost on the same format, only the thing is. Uh, Resume and CV are in the cap form and they will give you the appropriate results. Okay, but keywords are in a caps on. So is it correct or wrong? This is correct. Why? Keyword I have is in tried caps. with that, yeah. Hmm? I have tried with this. But why? Why it is correct? You have tried, yeah. it's working. Hmm. That is fine. But why it is correct? Keyword does not have any. This one. Exactly. Yeah, so Keywords are not case sensitive. It's only operators are case sensitive. Mm, correct. So keywords, you keep R capital, rest of the other uh, alphabets in small, like C capital, V small, R capital, E, S, U, M, E small. It doesn't matter. Correct. Okay. So that's one is correct. Site, site. So site. Definitely wrong. The reason because wrong. it's not a website, it's a keyword site. Wrong. In text, is it correct or wrong? Wrong. Why? After in text, there is a space and then colon. Okay. If there is no space, then again, this will be wrong. Why? Because uh, the thumb rule is there should, should not be any space. Thumb rule is for in URL, not for in text. Oh. So if it is like this, hmm. let's say in text. So second one. In text, Boolean biryani or chicken biryani. So the same concept. In text, chalo, you're saying there is a, a space in between the colon. So that's just wrong, I agree with you. So now we are removing the space. Now, mm. resume space, pipe space CV. Similarly, instead of resume, what we are taking is uh, bullion biryani or chicken biryani with the double quotes. Again, sticking to the basics. Mm. Okay, C H I C K. Mm. So we still get results where we have chicken biryani in the text. Though it is in the second. We might say that, okay, in text, it might go up to Boolean biryani, but it might not go up to chicken biryani, but we're still getting a results. Let's see if there is something Boolean biryani content exist. Otherwise we'll update. There is no content existing on Boolean biryani. I'm going to update it. It's something called Boolean biryani. 
All right. But uh, if I say in text, bullion biryani or sourcing biryani or she can be here. Okay. So in text, chicken biryani is here. Um, there are a number of spaces and number of various keywords after in text colon, but still it's going through. Thumb rule is actually, actually for in URL, but not for the in text. Okay, so one of them is correct. So none of them is also not correct. All right. Yeah, any doubts, any confusion for in text? Yes, no. Good to go, Shiv. In text, can, can you just uh, highlight one more time with a typical example? It's what a typical a example. Is, uh, <laughs> apart from this, Boolean biryani and chicken biryani. <laughs> Sourcing biryani, Boolean biryani. <laughs> It's pretty evident that we might not get the results with that. But chicken mm. biryani, the reason I kept it at the last, just to understand. Mm. Mm. Just to understand whether this operator is working or not. Okay, okay, got it. I would have kept chicken biryani in the front also. Mm. But we would have been doubtful because it's in the front, that's the reason it's working. Front, so, okay, okay. So, clear now that both of these two first options doesn't exist then means related content doesn't exist but let's see uh, yeah, yeah, yeah right okay somewhere we got sourcing biryani yes it no. exists some content is existing <laughs> with sourcing biryani <laughs> it's working got it got it yeah may not be bullion biryani but we got somewhere sourcing biryani sourcing some biryani. Biryani. <laughs> correct Okay, industry for sourcing biryani leaves. <clears throat> so just to get the concept clear around, we definitely have to go some unusual examples. Okay, none of them, one of them is correct. So this is also wrong. Which one is correct? Site resume? Yes. Site resume is correct. Hmm. Yes, no. Yes. Why it is correct? Because this is uh, gonna extensively working with this site resume.com or something. Or what is correct? Yeah. But okay, this site resume. Hmm. Thumb rule of site. Hmm. We need a link of website. Website, right. Resume is not a website. Resume.com right. can be a correct. Right. So that's wrong. Site star resume. I doubt. Hmm? The reason because? Uh, Star is a wild card, yeah. Wild card, but that's still wrong. But site star resume dot com can be a correct, mm -hmm. like this application hyphen resume dot com. Leverage hyphen resume dot com. That star is basically a fill in the blank. Eric hyphen resume dot com. Strategy hyphen resume dot com. Okay, Novapo hyphen resume dot com. Resume dot com get hyphen resume .com. So that can be a correct, but without dot .com, mm. the site doesn't have any relation. Without dot .com, without dot .in, without dot .net, without whatever the dot, site has no relation. You give whatever the keyword without dot, site doesn't work. Correct, correct. So that's reason, this is also wrong. 
So we'll not select it. Siteresume.com. This is correct. This is correct. Okay. So none of the above, one of them is correct. All of the above, all of them is wrong, but one of them is correct. So all of the above is also wrong. None of the above is also wrong because one of the above is correct. So these two doesn't apply. Right. So what is, which one is correct? In URL resume? Next level of trickiness. After site, we came to resume now. First one. Correct. In URL yeah. dot resume? Wrong. Why wrong? Because after colon, dot is not acceptable. Why it is not accepted? What's www dot forward slash dot forward slash dot forward slash dot z t dot resume in URL. Anyways, it's in the in, in URL resume in the URL resume in the URL. We're going to 10th page also. We're going to 14th page also. We'll still have resume in the URL. Hmm? Oh. Wait a second, I got disconnected. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Am I back? Yes, yes. Good. Okay. So even this also, even this also, resume should be existing in the URL. So this one is of YouTube reason that we can exclude. But otherwise, resources, article. So here we have a resume. Sometimes uh, we get uh, YouTube things, but YouTube URLs are not defined with that particular folder kind of a stuff. Every content of a YouTube has a unique URL. So that particular uh, word might find in a content, but any URL of YouTube you see, it does not have a folder structure, unlike like a, a other website. Because YouTube website is basically a a uh, video website which has multiple contents and every video, every content has a uh, unique URLs. But if you see the websites, here also we have a resume. Okay. So in URL dot resume is also correct. In URL dot star, in URL colon star resume. Correct. Why? The star is nothing but just the fill in the blanks. Mm. In URL resume.com. Site yeah. resume.com is correct. In URL resume.com. This might be correct. It's correct. Yeah. It is correct. If site resume.com is correct, in URL resume, like site linkedin.com forward slash in is correct. Similarly, in your linkedin.com forward slash in is correct. Similarly, in your resume.com is also correct. So we'll say all of the above. Okay. Which search is correct for LinkedIn? <clears throat> software engineer or software developer or software programmer or SD? Correct, not correct? Correct. Software and developer or engineer or programmer? It's also correct. Software and developer or engineer or programmer, not SDET or Android? Correct. So, all of them. So, Shiv, just a quick question here. 
in case if you exceed more than five operators then it will be incorrect right and or not so we are saying for linkedin yes yes so for there linkedin should be a follow up question are you asking us for a linkedin.com or linkedin recruiter i'm uh, asking for a linkedin.com then it will be wrong if it exists five operators yes that's what my point is more than five operators it, it will no, no, not show show you the results right yeah yeah thank you all these are motorcycles where is bicycle in this okay so 130 of 130 so yeah uh, that's where uh, the importance of this operators uh, lies in or uh, the importance of uh, basically a typo importance of basically missing on those particular columns uh, importance of basically uh, uh, missing on <clears throat> uh, um operators in a case sensitivity so all those stuff so yeah pretty much um, about it i uh, just wanted to understand any question any doubts have you enjoyed it or not yeah she we, we we enjoyed this <laughs> okay so now if you see every every question was actually around whatever we have covered in past in past 10 to 12 session and all on the basics on right. a boolean operators as well on a some of the advanced operators that the google operators sometimes people say in linkedin why site is not working so site is basically an operator for google but not for linkedin so that's when i just thought of okay let me just keep one question related to that also so this will collect over all the clarity of thoughts around this particular operators and that's is when i just thought this is kind of important for us to go back one and have one particular kind of a revision kind of a session but i wanted to make it more interactive so that's when i just went with the test so not not required like not necessary that you have to take you have to pass with the 100% score i know it's tricky but for the first time if you have scored more than 50% also that's really great yeah mine is more than 50% only that's good in fact thank but you but yeah as as we say that we might think that we know lot or we know mm. everything but now if you see after the test we might have to brush up on all this right right correct so that is the reason i said most of the times a best of the best developers doesn't get rejected not because they are not good at their day to day job or coding but they get rejected because of lack of preparation or because of lack of understanding how to approach a problem statement when we say correct mm -hmm. options wrong options then we are mindful that we are only selecting correct options trying to understand the problem statement when we are saying wrong options we are mindful of that we are selecting only wrong option and trying to understand why it is wrong during the time of interview if some candidate is taking a particular approach interviewer might ask why are you doing this or why are you doing that but if they have a strong answers why then that is kind of a bar raising and this is the reason i was asking why it is correct or why it is wrong so next session going to be on a kind of a interview preparations kind of a stuff uh for us uh, as i mentioned this session this time the sessions are going to be uh, <clears throat> more interactive where we would not cover only uh, sourcing content but also we would be covering related to the understanding of the various technologies um, and then some of the <clears throat> sourcing sessions uh, like <clears throat> is going to be a jam packed session with not only going to cover live sourcing training but also it includes the following some something like live sourcing jam we'll ask various recruiter from the various companies to come and share their jds we'll try to come up with the various <clears throat> leads during that particular live sessions then discussion on the tech topics then the sourcing test which we did today then <clears throat> recruiter interview preparation so that's where we are so maybe now the next level of our sourcing sessions is going to be not just the sourcing maybe one hour of a sourcing then another one hour we would focus on 
maybe a technical topics for a recruiter or um, something related to uh, interview preparation for a recruiter, we'll select accordingly. Or the guest lecture, guest lecture will keep it a little later part. Maybe we can prioritize now for a live sourcing jam test as well as the recruiter interview preparation. This we can, this two and four, we can still keep it at the later stage. But I think live sourcing jam and discussion for the tech topics for a recruiter, I think we should get started from the next week onwards. So we'll have a one hour on a sourcing and then one hour, either it would be a live sourcing jam so that now we are working on the live tracks. We are creating those X-ray searches lively mm -hmm. and trying to generate those leads so that that will give us handled means an opportunity to brush up on our basic concepts. Right. So Shiv, by any chance we will be taking uh, or holding any sessions on HR tech thing as well. We are going to start HR tech. That's what discussion on tech topics for recruiter. Tech topics. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the technology in terms of making the JD or some kind of, you know, AI tools or something like that. That would be a very advanced level. Maybe a next season we will do that, but okay. we'll go step by step. Okay. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. So yeah, that's it for today from my end. Any doubts or any confusion on understanding uh, the importance of a basic operator and how the whole results can mess up if those small operator are written wrongly. I'll just take a pause. I think this test has covered almost everything <laughs> on basics. Yeah, yeah, very much. Especially the examples like bullion biryani sourcing biryani and chicken biryani. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the day when I open up biryani hotel, I'm going to name one of biryani, bullion biryani. <laughs> and the hotel will be all with, the interior of the hotel will be all with and or not some of the in URL, some of the sites, some of the sources, right. <laughs> all the stuff. Right, right. All right, so yeah, that's it for today. Um, anything else, uh, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, feel free to drop. All right, fine. Thank you, Shiv. Thank you, Shiv. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Shiv. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Anything, Dinesh, Nagashri, uh, any doubts, any confusion? Nothing, Shiv, nothing. Great. Okay, then, that's it for today. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Take care. Thanks.